of the potentiometer. Determination of redox potential by EMF titration of Fe2 plus with Cr2O7 minus 2. And here is the aim to measure the redox potential using potentiometer. And the, here is the required apparatus. Burette, pipette, vol volumetric flask, beakers, magnetic stirrer, potentiometer, SE. Here SE means stacks. Saturated caramel and electrode. And here the chemicals potassium, dichloramate, ammonium, iron sulfate, and sulfuric acid. And we have, and the principle of this titration is the redox, the redox reaction of the solution is titrated by the reduction and oxidation reactions is between the titrants and the titrate. Here is the formula. Cr2O7 minus 2 plus 6 Fe2 plus plus 14 H plus gives rise to 6 Fe3 plus C2 Cr3 plus 7 H2O. Now going to the procedure, take 100 centimeters cube of volumetric flask and add 0 0.01 ammonium iron sulfate and the 0 0.02 potassium dichloromate. Now we have to stir with the magnetic stirrer and we have to add some 0 0.02 ml of dichloromate solution. Uh, now take the sufficient amount of dichloromate solution and uh, to prepare the ammonium iron sulfate and sulfuric acid. Now add 2. ml of centimeter cube of potassium dichloride and 25 centimeter cube of H2SO4 and 25 centimeter cube of distilled dilute H2SO4 and 50 centimeter cube of dilute distilled water at a time. And now repeat this experiment by adding the two or more than one potassium dichromate solutions and now we, we saw that we observed that the potassium dichromate adding two or more than two then we observed that the reaction is concentration of this reaction is becomes very small repeat this observation two or more times and observe the observation write down in the table first of all we have to take the Values in the table. First of all, we have to take volume of K2Cr2O7 and EMF of this cell, and now delta V value, delta E value, and now we have to divide delta E by delta V. We have to submit these values V plus 1 by 2 delta V. And the graph is like this. The reactions is taken by x axis in y axis. First of all, we have to take x-axis is volume of K2Cr2O7 and the y-axis is delta E by delta V. This is the equivalent point. Now, this is the graph like this. We have to substitute the values in the dilution law to calculate the potassium dichromate solution. Then the formula is N1V1 is equal to N2V2. Here, N1 is concentration of Fe2 plus solution and V1 is equal to volume of Fe2 plus solution and N2 is equal to concentration of K2Cr2O7 solution and V2 is equal to volume of K2Cr2O7 solution. Then we, we can calculate the concentration of Fe2 plus solution. We have to know the N1 value. So N1 is equal to N2 V1 by V2. Then we can get the these values N1 V1, N2 V2. Then Ferrous ammonium sulfate solution values is get, we get. Then this is the processor of this experiment. Let's meet in the experiment. First of all, we have to take the burette and fill it with the potassium potassium dichloromate. Now we have to take the ammonium, ammonium iron sulphate, ammonium iron sulphate, this is the, and we have to add into bu burette and uh, we have to add potassium into 
this in the re readings we have to put in the the potassium dichloride into the beaker and uh, we have to calculate this and get it the readings and we have to solve the readings in the in the readings and draw the graph.